Before making the drone, you have to need enough skill about programming because in every position we have to do the program IC. Other hand, in my previous video, Maxim guy comment on how it is possible to program 1885 IC with Arduino. I believe 50 percent of people are very afraid about programming, so that is why in this four minute video you can easily understand the point of this programming. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's start the video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. This company producing prototype PCB in very insane quality. Not only that, you can find variety type of option when you are ordering your PCB. Such as you can order maximum 6 layer PCB, even you can get here the benefit of SMT service and strain seal. Even you can order huge amount of PCB in your budget. And more useful offer is you can select variety type of color of PCB with absolutely free of cost. More information you can visit their website. You must need an Arduino board to do this type of IC programming. You can use any type of Arduino board such as Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano. I will use here the Arduino Nano for this purpose. So here Arduino needs to be programmed in such a way that it reacts as ISP or like a VR programmer. So that is why I connect this Arduino with my laptop help with a USB cable. Next I open Arduino IDE software and go to file example and here you can see Arduino ISP and select this and you can see this is the ISP code. You will need to upload this code exactly as we upload normal code. Once your code is uploaded then you will think now your Arduino is a programmer. Ok now time to program some kind of IC. You should know here that the IC you want to program which must have reset MOSI MISO SCK pin. All of this signal will come out from Arduino to a specific target IC for in order to program. For example, Arduino's digital pin 10 for reset, digital pin 11 for MOSI, digital pin 12 for MISO and digital pin 13 for SCK. Ok, let's program the 1885 IC. But here I don't know which are ISP pin of this IC. That is why I will search on Google 1885 PDF. Then I got the microchip web page and see here the all information about 1885 and see the ISP pins names are correctly mentioned here. Ok, all information about this IC has been collected by us. Let's program this IC. That is why I will put this Arduino on breadboard and also I mount this 1885 IC. Let's connect it with Arduino. Arduino digital pin 10 will be connect to this IC's reset pin which is number 1 pin. Similarly pin number 11 will be go pin number 5 of this IC. Pin number 12 will be attached to the number 6 of this IC. Likewise, number 13 is for this IC 7 number pin. And don't forget to connect the 5 volt power source with this target IC. Ok, all connection are complete. But here one small thing left. Which is that you need to connect a 10 microfarad capacitor. Which will be connected to the reset and ground in Arduino. The reason for this is that the Arduino will not program itself. As a result, it will be program specific IC. Other hand, you will be aboard the STK500 error. Ok, it's all over now. Now time to program this 1885 IC. So that is why again I will connect the USB cable to my Arduino and other end I connect to my left off. After then I open my Arduino ID software for program IC. And remember guys, inside this software you will not get any option to program 1885 IC in normal condition. To get this option you need to copy these links. You will get the link in the description box as always. And then you have to paste the link in the preference setting. After then you need to go to the board manager and install 1885 library. Once the library is installed then you can go to the board manager and see 1885 ICs option here and you need to select 1885 from here. After then you need to select how many megahertz you want to write your program. If you are using internal megahertz clock then select internal or if you want to external then select external clock. If you select external clock example 16 MHz then you must attach 16 MHz clock to pin 2 and 3 in 1885 IC. I will not use external clock here so I will remove the crystal. Here I will select 1 MHz internal clock for example code. Ok look this blink code. Here I will select pin number 5 for output. 
Note guys, when you upload the code, make sure you already selected Arduino as ISP. This is very important. See guys, it uploading nicely without error. You know guys, I selected pin number 5, so I would add an LED to the pin number 5 and see that the LED is blinking correctly, meaning that my code is uploaded correctly. Remember guys, if you want to program at mega 8, at mega 3 to 8p, you can do this job in same way. Only you need to know the ISP pin from the specific datasheet. And of course you need to add library file link in the preference box. Ok guys, I hope you like this video. And I hope you learned something new from this video. This is for today guys, if you have any question regarding this video, so please ask me in comment section. I will definitely answer you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press bell icon. See you in next video. Stay safe.